morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to GBL, the old church. Mr. Gary is donning his camel gloves today to keep my hands warm, and I'm wearing a toque this morning. It is quite cold here in Gander, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Actually, it is only 2 degrees Celsius, and that's to say it was 35 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, I do believe, and it feels like zero. I should have on a parka. I should have on my winter jacket. It feels like zero degrees Celsius, and that's the same as 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to get up to a bombing, a bombing seven degrees Celsius today. That's the same. 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, time for Mr. Gary to get at his usual Friday chore, and that's the garbage. And we're going to be talking about pallets in this video today. Most of this video is all about pallets, and in fact, it's going to be about a pallet floor for the new barn. Join me now as I take out the garbage, and then we'll come back for one final chat about Pallets. Let's check this garbage container, boys and girls. Empty again. I love it, I love it, I love it when that container is empty. It means, it means that that container is empty and there are no contents in that container going to the landfill. And that is quite, quite important. This one, though, this one is full of both garbage and recyclables. And Mr. Gary now is going to take that one out to the curb. That wasn't too bad at all. And I wanted to talk to you this morning about pallets. Yesterday, I spent most of my day at the new barn, at the old church, and uh, my task yesterday was to clean up the floor and clean up the, uh, the back wall uh, of the garage and get it ready for a temporary pallet floor. And as I said, I spent most of my day doing that yesterday. I'm gonna go back to the old church today and to the new barn and finish that task, uh, making the floor and putting together a couple of epic shelves uh, of the style of Mike Dixon from Grandpa's Workshop from Nova Scotia. Mike is a great friend of mine and him and I, we chat at least once a week. He has a great, great channel, Mike's Workshop, and he made a couple of epic shelves a while ago. So go check it out. Arrived here at the uh, at the new barn and at the old church folks a few minutes ago and got a lot of work to do as I said let's go inside the new barn and take a look around this is a door opening folks that will eventually get a steel door and in fact I had the door right there that has to go in that opening so hopefully I'll get that door installed very very soon but let's take a look around this empty empty a barn or large, large garage. And uh, Mr. Gary, as I said, got lots of organization to do. Uh, right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move all of that scaffolding that's down there next to the back wall. That all has to be moved and stored someplace else. I'm gonna put in a temporary floor using some pallets and these old sheets of OBS. So I'm gonna lay those down, then I'm gonna cover that with some plastic so hopefully I'll have a temporary floor for just uh, storing some things. I got a lot of totes and some boxes and things like that that I want to bring out here and store things that are now up in the church and are really, really in the way from doing any work. So I'm going to move all of that. I'm going to set up, as I said, a temporary floor and I'm going to make some shelves. I'm going to make some epic shelves uh, like, <laughs> like my friend Mike at uh, Grandpa's Workshop. in Nova Scotia. Uh, Grandpa, Mike, uh, made some epic uh, storage shelves a little while ago. 
on his channel. Go check him out, folks. He's a great, great guy. And while I was watching him, it gave me some ideas of, uh, for what I want to do here as well. So I'm going to try and steal some of Mike's ideas. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't have copyright on any of it. And I'm sure he would be very, very happy uh, for me to borrow some of his ideas. He is, as I said, a really, really nice guy. Mike Dixon from Grandpa's Workshop. Go check him out. Now, Mr. Gary, as I said, is going to clear this area away and put down some pallets, put down that OBS board and make a temporary floor out so far anyway. And then I'm going to get some shelving put up, some temporary shelves to store lots of things, as I said, that are currently up in the church. Okay, so put on your gloves, Mr. Gary, to protect your hands. some other location in this garage, folks, in this big old barn. Okay, so here we go. Piece of scaffolding number one. Uh, this scaffolding uh, has been removed from the back wall here and relocated into another location in this big old barn. Now, the next job for Mr. Gary is to remove those stays or supports that we used when we were putting up the uh, walls a few weeks ago. Uh, we don't require those now and they can be safely removed and I'm probably going to be using them to help me make my shelves. Breaking up some of the loose rock here on this uh, earth floor, folks. Uh, the floor that's eventually going to, uh, going to be uh, cement uh, later on, probably two years from now though. But for the, for the time being, I need to put a temporary floor. And I want to make the ground uh, sort of solid uh, for, for the pallets that I'm going to be putting down next. I did manage to scrape off all of the loose rock, or the majority of them, anyway, that was on this floor. And I do think I have a nice, smooth, solid base now for those pallets. 
I'm gonna put down at least two in a row and I'm gonna go the full width of this building uh, from the garage door opening over on that end all the way over here where eventually a steel door will go. So I'm gonna put down two pallets and we're hoping to be able to put down these full sheets of OBS. So we're gonna come out from the wall eight feet and have a nice eight foot floor that's gonna be 30 feet long for me to store a lot of things that are currently, as I said, up in the church. They're gonna be brought out here. Now, I have a, I have a concern. I wanna share that with you right now. I know that there's gonna be dampness and moisture coming up through this earth. So once I get the uh, pallets down, I'm gonna lay down some heavy plastic. And I'm gonna show that to you shortly. And then I'm gonna put down the OBS. And I think with the pallets and the heavy plastic and the OBS, I should have a nice little solid temporary floor for this building for me to store things. And I'm also going to put some shelves up along this back wall, a epic storage shelf, just like my friend Mike Dixon at Grandpa's Workshop. And I'm gonna be able to store some things up high off the floor that I don't wanna get damp and things like that. So uh, bear with me in the next little while. Uh, I'm hoping to get at all that. My next top job now is to go outside over by the old church and bring back some pallets. I have lots. I'm over here next to the old church now, folks, right there. And I know I have 10 pallets right there. And if you look in the distance, way back there, there's another pile of another 10. And behind the old church, I probably have another 50. So lots of pallets. I'm not concerned about that. So I'm going to be starting to uh, take those over to the uh, new barn now and start, uh, start laying those down in place. Pallet number one, folks, of probably 20 or so that's going to be laid down on this ground, on this earth floor over the next little while. So bear with me. Give me a bit of time. First row of pallets laid down for this temporary floor, folks, here at the new barn here at GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Let's get another row of pallets down on this hearth floor, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, just one more pallet. Now folks, is all I need, right over here in the in front of the garage door. So I'm gonna go pick that one out. He has to be a certain measurement, so I'm going to figure that part out and get back to you with a final clip on this temporary floor today made from pallets. This is a selection of pallets uh, that I have here at the Olmstead, here at GBL, the old church, five acre Olmstead. And uh, I think if you have a homestead, folks, you've got to have a supply of pallets because they come in handy and you can do lots and lots of things with pallets. Which brings me to our comments. What do you use pallets for on your homestead? Do tell, do let us know in the comments if you do something unique and interesting with pallets on your homestead. Now, Mr. Gary came out here to look for, a, uh, look for one that had a certain size. And I do think I found it right here. I think this is a good one right here. So I'm gonna take that over now and see if that's gonna fit in the last opening for our temporary pallet floor. So I have, I have all of the pallets in place here now, folks. So I can lay down some eight foot sheets of OBS on top of these. That's the plan. Uh, before I put the sheets though, I'm going to lay down some plastic first. I've got some heavy duty white plastic that I'm going to lay down to keep the moisture down. And then I'm going to put the sheets of OBS on top of this. And then I'm going to start carting and carrying uh, a lot of these things I have stored in the church out here into the barn for safekeeping. So folks, there you have it. That's our installment for this week's TGIF Friday video. Uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed this one. There's going to be lots, lots more coming uh, about the barn and about the church over the next little while. Most of our gardening is completed. We just have a few cabbage and turnip in the ground still and a few peppers, so we'll get them out. But uh, for the future, folks, look forward 
to a lot of videos on our YouTube channel about this new barn, uh, about the old church, about Miss Betty and I getting ready for the big move, which is probably a couple of years away. But in order for that to happen, we have to have this big old barn ready and we have to have the church ready. So all of the stuff in the church, as I said now several, several times, has to come out here and be put in storage so we can actually get to work finishing up various projects inside the old church. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you stopping by our channel all the time and often, folks. If you are a loyal supporter, thank you ever so much for tuning in and watching our videos. And if you are brand new to our channel, if you are a newbie, welcome aboard. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you joining our journey here at GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Mr. Gary saying have a blessed, blessed weekend, and we'll see you in a future video. Bye for now, Mr. Gary signing out. Hey, lots of pallets. I have it exactly eight feet out from the wall, so we just to lay the sheets on top of this. I'm not too concerned about whether or not it's level. That's not the idea here. The idea here is to uh, find some storage out here now, some dry storage. And that's why, that's why I got the pallets there. That's why I'm gonna put down the vapor barrier, the heavy duty plastic, and then the sheeting. So hopefully, hopefully this will be a nice dry place to bring some things out for storage.